So notice in C and D here, substitution is preferred because we don't have common powers in uh, both equations. In the first one we have linear, and the second one is squared. In part D, again linear and then squared. So in substitution, you pick an equation, you solve for a variable, and then use that expression in the same equation in the uh, I'm sorry, in the other equation, but for the same variable. So looking in part C, out of both of those equations, which one is it easier to solve for a variable? The first equation or the second equation? First, because there's no powers on them but once. All right, so in the first equation, pick a variable solve for, it does not matter. X it is. How are we going to solve for X? Subtract Y. So now instead of the x in the second equation, we're now going to have the expression 4 minus y. What is 4 minus y quantity squared? We have y squared plus 4y squared on the same side. Those combine to give you. We have 16 on both sides. Those combine to give you 0. How are we going to solve for y? Totally win. It's a much easier way than computing the square. This is your quadratic equation. What's the first way that you learn to solve the quadratic equation? Factor. What's the GCF? Y. If we factor out a Y, we're left with. Five y minus eight. You have a product that equals zero. That means each term of that product can equal zero. Well, if y equals zero, what does y equal? No, it equals zero. If five y minus eight equals zero, you're in the next one. Y equals all right let's go back and find our x we're going to use this equation up here for y equals zero we're going to put in zero in for our y we get x to be four minus zero what do we get for x four what order pair is that x comma y good now we're going to plug in Eight fifths. What is four minus eight fifths? Twelve fifths. This order pair is four fifths, comma, eight fifths. What is x plus y equals 4? What does that look like if you were to graph it? It's a line. x squared plus 4y squared equals 16. What does that look like? Both variables are square. There's a plus. 
So these are the two points where this particular line intersects this particular width. Sad news, everyone. This is our last experiment. It's going to be okay. We'll go through this together. XY equals 1. You don't learn what that is until college algebra. It's a reciprocal function. Oh my gosh, I just told you. But don't worry about that. We don't know what that graph looks like at all. 4x squared plus y squared equals 5. That guy is an ellipse. All right, substitution is preferred here because we do not have the same type of thing to cancel in both equations. One's an x. The first, the other one's an x squared, same with the y. So we'll do substitution. Pick an equation, solve for one of the variables. What equation? First equation is preferred. Solve for one of the variables. How are you going to do that? x equals 1 over y, you're going to divide. So in the x in the second equation, we're going to put in 1 over y. times 1 over y squared is the same thing as 4 over y squared. Don't square the 4. Y is what we're trying to solve for. We have a y in the denominator. How do we get rid of how do we get it out of the denominator? Multiply everything by Multiply everything by y squared. That's kind of like the last word. Four over y squared times y squared is four. Y squared times y squared is y with four. And then on the right we get five y squared. As a hint, I'm going to bring that 5y squared to the left. And now we're going to have a flashback. Huh? What? Wow. How do we solve this? There you go. This is an equation quadratic in form. So pick a letter, any letter. Don't pick X, don't pick Y. A it is, we've gone pink. So this is really Y squared squared minus 5Y squared plus 4 equals 0. Using our A now, this is really A squared minus 5a plus 4 equals 0. How does a squared minus 5a plus 4 factor? What does that say about a? So if a is 4, that means y squared equals 4, which means y equals uniform value, plus or minus 2, which we'll use in a second. And if, y, if a equals 1, then y squared equals 1, so y equals Alright, let's break this up into pieces. So we have y to be 2, 
y to be negative 3, y to be 1, y to be negative 1. We need to find the corresponding x's. We're going to use the fact that x equals 1 over y. So if y is 2, what is x equal? One half, one over two. So that's the order to pair one half comma two. If y is negative two, what is x equal? Negative one half. X comma y. If y is one, what is x equal? One comma one. And lastly, if y is negative one, we get negative one. Negative one, negative one. We have four ordered pairs. That's it. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say.